Hi everyone, uh, my name is Alan. I just wanted to make a short video and show you how easy it is to connect to the LiveDeposition.com website and to stream uh, real-time deposition. The first thing you'll need is an application called Steno Capture. You'll download this from the website or the, um, the people at LiveDeposition.com will give you a link to download this. Once it's installed on your desktop, you'll simply double click on it before you, before you open your real-time file and you make sure your settings are correct. So we have our input type and we have it here listed as case view. Then it's going to ask you for your port settings and we're going to use a virtual port. Not a physical port, but a virtual port. Um, our baud rate is 2400 and we're going to press connect. You'll notice down here at the bottom we have bytes in and bytes out. When I start actually writing and sending real-time data, there will be numbers that will be increasing here to actually reflect that I am sending and it's feedback that the data is being received by the website. So that's one thing to watch for to make sure you are connected. We'll minimize this now and then the next thing we're going to do, step two, is just start your real-time file. I'm on Eclipse software so I've already got a file started here. This is a test. This is a test. As you can see, um, I want to show you what my settings are inside Eclipse. So I'll go to my settings. You can hit Alt-U or hit the cog icon. Go to your real-time tab, which I'm doing here. And over here on the right, we have output formats. And you can see my output is case view COM4 2400. Now your COM number may be different. Maybe COM6, COM11, it may be different but you will need to have case view and 2400 baud. You can change this by simply clicking on the change button and make your selections where appropriate. Click OK when you're done, click OK, and you have your real-time file. So the two steps are one, to open the virtual port using the Steno Capture software. We've done that, it was easy. Number two, start a real-time file. We've done that, you already know how to do that. So now that we're streaming, let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the website. So I'm going to open up my Internet Explorer, my browser. One second, here we go. And you're going to get a link from the LiveDeposition.com um, <coughs> company. Once you schedule a deposition, they will send you a link. You click on the link and it will take you to this page. It's a host login page. You'll input your username. Uh, your display name, I'll type in Alan, which is my name, and a password that they'll also send you an email. You put that in and click Submit. That's it. It's simple. Then you wait a few seconds for the page to load. And it's loading. And here we go. Okay, it's asking for the Adobe Flash Player settings. I'm going to click Allow. And we're set. This is the welcome screen. You get this flash welcome to the deposition message. Um, you can hide it if you want. Uh, it will go away in a few minutes. The main part of the screen where I'm pointing now is your transcript area. Once I start writing, you will see text streaming here. On the left hand side over here, uh, windows will open for the participants of their video. It could be the counsel, the plaintiff, the defense counsel, the witness, um, any remote parties that are attending the deposition that have a webcam on their computer, their video will appear here. Since I'm the court reporter and I'm setting this up, I'm the only one present right now. Uh, if I want to turn on my webcam, there's a place over here on the right. I could just click to activate and you'll see my picture come in in just a second. That's me, waving, the guy waving right now. So, I can also turn on my audio by clicking here, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just write some text for just a minute on my steno machine, and I'll send up some, <clears throat> some data so you can see what it looks like. Now, oh, the first thing we need to do is click on connect. There we go. Now, the text will start streaming.
Okay, that's enough. You can see what's going on here. Um, we have page, <coughs> excuse me, page, pages marked by the, the page number on the left-hand side. Uh, we have text here. Uh, if I wanted to search any word, I would simply go over here to the keyword section, click my mouse in there, and I'll type a word. For example, the word ages. And it found the word. I click on it, and then it locates it down here in the bottom window. It says page 1, line 21, and then it highlights it for me. Um, let me think of another example. Um, Tom. I would type in the word Tom, and it would find it. And here, there it comes up four times in this short transcript. Page 1, line 3. Page 1, line 4. Page 1, line 8. And 18. So, you can use your keyword search here for any word that comes up in the transcript. And again, once the other parties join, you will have their video on the left-hand side. Uh, we can talk about that in another tutorial. But I just wanted to show you basically how easy it is to simply connect and stream to the web using uh, LiveDeposition.com. It's very simple. Um, if you have any questions, contact the company. Um, they'll be happy to um, walk you through a demo. But uh, I really like the product, and so I thought I'd make this video. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks.